Hi, Terry. Um, uh, you uh, you sent me this video from uh, LiveView. Uh, that's interesting. That's something I, I haven't done yet. So you're you're ahead of the game on the live view. Uh, it, yeah, the swing, the hip hip movement, and the left foot action is really good. Okay, it it uh, uh, amazing amazing change and and uh, uh, you know it's a- excellent job. So uh, let's walk through it just briefly here. So so the takeaway. See. Something I didn't mention is, see how there's more weight on your left side. It's not equally, see how you're kind of leaning on that left side, and I'm guessing it's 60% left side, left foot, and 40%, maybe less, on the right, and it should be reversed. There should be more weight on the right. So this this kind of uh, um, center of gravity, CG, uh, going forward is part of the the um, problem with the the, uh, the takeaway from the upper body standpoint. Okay, so so this what I like here is see how see that blue circle? It's on your knee. Way better position there. See how it's more caved in, so that allows you to make a bigger turn. So your your left shoulder is really in a good spot, and Fortunately, the your upper body is pointed at the at the target. In reality, we want it. Whoops. <laughs> and then, and then. In reality, we want it. Kind of, you know, it's about 17 degrees off of vertical, and this is uh, the red line is where you are, and that's uh, you know a negative. Uh, so, so I, I like the, the bigger shoulder turn, uh, but you got to get the the upper body leaning away from it. Okay, and that that's just going to set up for getting out of this reverse weight shift, but. Given that, kind of a weak position there, but look at this. So, you know, you got this vertical blue line uh, to your to your left, uh, which is is about the outside of your foot. So, so as you come down, that left hip gets close to it, and then the belt buckle comes close to kissing it. And see how now the the right knee is is caved in. The heel is coming. This is impact. It's caved in, and the right heel is up, and you're starting to get. You've rolled the right foot, and you're starting to get to the toe. So it's roll, toe, and then show the bottom of your foot to the fans behind you. Really good. Okay, really good. And then. As you get here, now, you, the, the best way to, to clean this up more is, is to go to the left leg post where you straighten that knee. And you straighten that knee will get that hip, left hip going further behind you. So they always talk about a left post. And it, when the hands get close to belt high, uh, uh, it, it turns out that it's... Um, well, uh, every all the good players have a, a stiff left leg. Uh, uh, and they hit against a, a post. Uh, now, you're you're right. As you get through here, you you got a little flipper thing where you're just trying to save it, but that's okay. We just want to get to. We want to use that body to clear out of the way, but we want to get at this spot. We want, and I'll draw. We want. Both arms straight, which, which they are close right here. But what we want is is the club be an extension 
of the arms, right? So that'll, that'll give you better direction. Uh, so at this point, it should, both arms are straight, kind of like somebody, you, somebody's doing a tug of war and they're pulling on this green arrow and, and you're trying to resist it. So you got that part right, but you've kind of uh, uh, flipped at it with your wrist, and, but the club should be on that green arrow. You know, that, that's, a, that's a situation we haven't really checked. But look, sure enough, your lower body is past the ball and your head hasn't. It's brilliant. It's really good.